It is claimed that this English explorer was the first person in recorded history to walk the length of Africa from Cape Town to Cairo. But you know what? He did more than walk. He also flogged three Kikuyu men in the heart of Nairobi without any remorse whatsoever. Ewart Scott Grogan was an English explorer and one of the most well-known and wealthy settlers who settled in Kenya in the early 20th century. He and his wife arrived in Kenya in 1904. Grogan swiftly became a leading figure in the Kenyan settler community, making a number of real estate purchases and later building his famous house, Chiromo, in what is now Nairobi's Westlands estate. In 1907, he was involved in what became publicly known as the Nairobi Incident. This is what happened. On March 14, 1907, Grogan's sister and her friend, Ms. MacDonald, were riding to Nairobi Club on a rickshaw pulled by three Kikuyu men. It is thought that, likely due to a failure to communicate, the men gave their passengers a rather bumpy ride. Mrs. Hunter, Grogan's sister, considering that their dignity as white ladies had been threatened, reported the incident to her brother, who immediately became very incensed. Grogan, who was the president of the Colonists' Association and an ardent defender of the settler community, wanted more leeway to do whatever they wanted in the protectorate. The British colonial government wanted to instill a semblance of law and order. When this incident happened, Grogan probably saw a chance to earn some political mileage. Mr. Grogan was incensed and ranted to his friend Fisheth that night. He saw the incident as a great opportunity to show the colonial government and the Africans who was boss. From as early as 8 a.m. the following day, his friend Fischet had been walking through the small town, spreading the word that Grogan was about to flog three Kenyan boys, as they were rudely called those days, for disrespecting white women. The next morning, Mr. Grogan rounded up the three African men, tied their hands behind their backs with rope, and locked them up in a shed. He later led the trio down government road. Soon, scores of white men took to the streets to witness the spectacle. The man the Kikuyu had nicknamed Buana Chue was about to teach the Africans a lesson. Grogan then turned to one of the men and flogged him. He told the court later that he had whipped the man 25 times before someone else, presumably Russell Boker, grabbed the stick and began beating the second man. A Mr. Gray then thrashed the third wailing man. As the three men lay on the ground writhing in pain, the crowd of majorly white men cheered in the background. Two of the Kikuyu men could still walk, but one was badly hurt. He was hospitalized, presumably at the native hospital, which is now known as the Kenyatta Hospital, for a considerable period. Some historical accounts suggest the badly hurt man later died. Mr. Grogan was sentenced to one month jail time while his two accomplices were sentenced to 14 days only. They were to serve their jail sentences in a building on Nairobi Hill, presumably Grogan's Chiromo house. Ironically, they were all released on a technicality before they completed their sentences, making a mockery of the whole case. Grogan, who was also a personal friend to the colonizer Cecil Rhodes, died in 1967. Please support this channel by sharing or liking this video. Till next time.